Hello and welcome to Mad About Sports for yet another video. And today we're going to be talking about a player. It is none other than Eden Hazard. Now, with that name, Eden Hazard, it was a household name for the decades of 2010s because he was a serial match winner for Chelsea. Every time he donned the blue jersey, he had the stadium at the field. The Stamford Bridge had one name to sing every week and week out. That was Eden Hazard. But the sad decline of Eden Hazard came from 2019. He joined Los Blancos Real Madrid in 2019. And from there on, it wasn't the same for Eden Hazard. In the four seasons, he played less than 80 games. He went on to play just 78 appearances for Real Madrid, where he went on to score just seven goals for them. Now, when we talk about Eden Hazard, now one thing which everybody will definitely rejoice and remember, as he calls it a day, is his great performances with Chelsea Football Club. At the age of 32, Eden Hazard has decided to call today and to retire from all football. And where this means it's been a travesty of an end for Eden Hazard. Now, one can definitely say when he made the move post Ronaldo's departure to Real Madrid, he was certainly considered as the reign to fulfill Ronaldo's boots and to be the successor of the number seven jersey which Ronaldo had carried. But it wasn't to be. But for Ian Hazard, what really followed after that was a long hit pandemic where he was suffering injuries, where he had to recover from it. His fitness issues came when images started popping up of him being unfit as well. Now, that is where we often talk about the fact that where did it go wrong? Is it the change in the club? Is it the love which was shown to him which really changed? Remember, he left Chelsea after winning the UEFA Europa League. Now, that was the epitome of a moment for Eden Hazard. Remember, he hadn't won a UCL with Chelsea. He went. The Chelsea went on to win the UCL the very next season after he left. And Chelsea had won the UCL the season before he had joined the club. Now, that has been his journey. The, the journey between those nine odd years where Chelsea fought for Premier Leagues. Chelsea had some trouble sometimes. He was their torch bearer in this period. Came in as a golden boy, turned out to be a fine star, and left as possibly one of the one of the greatest to have played for Chelsea over that decade. Let's look at Eden Hazard in 2010s because now this is very interesting. Most man of the match award since 2009-10. Now on this list, you have possibly the two greatest players to have ever stepped down to a football field. That's Messi and Ronaldo here. But on that, on the number third chart. Eden Hazard forming that chart in itself speaks volumes of where and what he could have destined to be. Now, this is where you really feel for real uh, for Eden Hazard and what he really missed out on. Now, if you look at this, now Eden Hazard's career stats, he finished off his career at 32, 748 games, 200 goals, and 193 assists, and 393 goal contribution with 15 trophies and 101 man of the matches for that record. And 58 individual awards. Do you can say these are stats of the highest quality? Possibly one of the greatest of all times will have these kind of stats. What will world remember Eden Hazard for? Will it be for his exploits with Chelsea or will it be just for a player who could have possibly achieved even more but ended up with nothing? Remember when Eden Hazard made a move to Real Madrid, he had definitive ambitions of winning the Champions League and he did. He was part of the Champions League squad, which went on to win in 2022. But the fact of the matter over here is just more than that. How did he really go through the career since then? Remember, he was 28 when he made the move to Real Madrid. But from there on, he could have possibly been at the age of 31, you know, just hitting a right prime for a player and maybe at its peak of his career as well. But falling down heavily in the last four years, just 80 games, and Real Madrid had to terminate his contract. Real Madrid had not renewed the contract, and he was left a free agent. Not even the smallest of clubs really approached him. Now, this is where things get it, things get very interesting. Remember, there was a certain fallout in the Belgian dressing room as well during the Euro Euros of 2021, where there were there were tussle there, there were question marks with Eden Hazard, his performances come 2020 World Cup. There was definitive question marks even there. So that's where you really believe a player who could have achieved a lot more for his international side and for, for maybe for Real Madrid really fell off. And even with Chelsea, that's where you really feel 
maybe Eden Hazard, maybe if you have chosen to stay, stay in Chelsea for like three, four years, what could he have achieved? Would he have had such injuries? Maybe he would have. Because one factor we always need to consider, which a lot of people do not talk about, is come 28, 29, 30 of a footballer's career, of any athlete's career, they tend to get a lot more injuries. And that's also because of various factors which happen in their body. Because remember, Eden Hazard is a player who has played, played a lot of games starting from the age of 18 to that, that period of 25, 26. And then and the crucial move to Real Madrid should have maybe should have come maybe two to three years earlier, one would like to say so, but it wasn't to be. And he made a move at a stage which was very, 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 very dicey in his career as well. Now, this is where if you look at some of the numbers, right, now, as one would like to say, Eden Hazard's impact is immeasurable. Now, why do you say that is immeasurable, right? Now, when we talk about the numbers of goals and assists, fantastic. It's definitely been one of the best. Goals and assists are always there and thereabouts. But his impact in a field, why does he end up getting so many men on the match? His chance creations. The number of times he gets involved in a play which leads to a goal. The number of times he ends up opening up, making those runs, you know, getting in positions. This just took or just made Eden Hazard separate. If we just talk about his dribbles, that's a very interesting thing to talk about Eden Hazard and his dribbles, isn't it? In a decade which had Messi as one of the best dribblers in Europe, Eden Hazard was one player who always competed with him in that particular that particular stat, which is dribbles. When we talk about top five rated players of the decade, Eden Hazard was the best. And that's why he'll be remembered to be the best player of the generation of 2010s to 20s in Premier League. We had a Conegra, you had a Agua, you had a Harry Kane, the Silva, you had Kevin De Bruyne in this time. Even with Kevin De Bruyne now, his Belgium compatriot, or when you talk about someone like uh, Harry Kane or Sergio Aguero, one factor which always we resonate with them is a goal scoring ability with Harry Kane or uh, Sergio Aguero. But with, with Eden Hazard, it wasn't just about goal scoring. It was more about contribution of various levels, contribution at the best, helping Chelsea. Like, you know, we're talking about a phase where he had, he was, Chelsea did not have a proper striker. That was Diogo Costa, that was Fabregas here and thereabouts. They, you know, Chelsea was going through a transition this time. Despite of all this, Eden Hazard took the mantle on, guided Chelsea to Premier League wins, guided Chelsea to wins of FA Cups and Carabao Cups. And that's where you give Eden Hazard the respect of what he did in that era. Post Champions League, winning in 2012, Chelsea had a rough time. Then Mourinho was in, was was appointed again. Then you had Conte come in that period as well. Sari come in that period as well. Multiple managers who came, but even there and thereabouts, he was one player who spit day in and day out. So that is where somewhere down the line you would have to feel numbers of Eden Hazard are just immeasurable. He's much more than the numbers guy. He's much more than the player who might be just talk, spoken about for scoring 200-odd goals or 193 assists. He's a player maybe who should be given more regard to what he has achieved. A sad end to a career what could have been one of the greatest, as one would like to say. 193 assists, 15 trophies, 749 games. Maybe an international trophy with the golden generation of Belgium would have been the icing on the cake for this guy. 2018 World Cup or when we talk about the Euros, one of them would have been ideal for Eden Hazard to leave the football and run. But unfortunate that he has ended the career like this, in a way, as he calls today. But he'll be remembered as the Chelsea legend. He was 2010s, 2020s, always will belong to Eden Hazard in the Premier League. Not just the streets, the Stamford Bridge, and the whole of Premier League, and all the football fans across the world will remember his name. Thank you guys for watching this video. And do not forget to share and like the video if you liked it. And also, don't forget to check out our courses with Mad About Sports. If you want to know more about in detail of your favorite players and want to call the shots in one of the teams, do not forget to check out our football analytics course with Mad About Sports and check out our Instagram page as well. Take care and stay safe, all of you. See